What? I said you're in my what? lane. You're you better put that knife away. Oh. You're in my lane! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in OCRP as Mr. Shane McCracken. Now Shane is having a really bad day. Not only is he out of his normal supplements, but he has nothing seeming to go his way. His car was almost out of gas, he's all out of snacks, and he lost his favorite pair of earbuds. And just when he thinks this day can't get any worse, he almost gets in an accident on his way to the gas station. But before we get into it, make sure you like and comment and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Now, let's see what this fool wants. Whoa. I was just turning. What? 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 Watch your freaking driving. You were in my lane. No, you're in my lane. You were in my lane. No, you're in my lane. What? I said you're in my lane. Watch your freaking. You better put that knife away. Oh. You were in my lane. What are you doing, man? He threatened me. Local? Nope. It's not a local right there. Okay. No. Look, brother. Here. I'm gonna tell you to get on the side of the road right Don't now. Threaten the the road. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. Don't, Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. All right, brother. Who? Whose car is this? Whose car are you driving? Is that your Volkswagen? Yep. Leave me alone. Uh, All right, man. Just stay back, okay? Stay back. <laughs> that hey, escalated quickly. I just want to go. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look, man, just just get on. The, come over on this side, okay? Come over here on the side of my truck. Come over here. Come on, man. Just just put the knife down. Everything's cool, man. We're just gonna talk about it, all right? Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it. Knife away, man. Stay right there. Get away from him. Get away from him now. That's what you get. Come at me with Come a on, gun. Man. This isn't necessary, bro. Get on the side of the road here. Let's just get out of traffic, okay? I need. Yeah, get over there. Get over there now. Get over there. Don't get in your car. Don't get in your car. <laughs> Stay out of the car. Dude. Get out now. Get out. <laughs> Shit for brains. Did you just try to tase me? Hey, hey, you, you just try to tase me? Come on, man. Hey, 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 stay away from me. Hey, Put you tried to away. tase me. Put the knife away, bro. Yeah, I was just sitting in my car. I was just sitting in my car. What, dude? Just get over here. Alright, I'll get hey, over here. Hey, put, keep the knife away. No, brother. Put the knife away. Put it away. Oops, I slipped. He's gonna let me. Down. Sit on the ground right now. Put the knife away. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Just put the knife away, bro. Put it away. Put it away. Okay, man, I think we have an ambulance coming. Just hold on. Oops, did it again. Look, man, we don't need to have the issues right now. Just stay right there. Put the knife away. Sit down on the ground for me. What happened to your officer, buddy? Uh, I think he's having issues. He's not going to be able to respond right now. Just, just stay on the side, okay? Ah. Uh. Just sit down, man. Sit down. My back gonna hurt. I'm just gonna lean over here. Sit down, brother. I don't want to have to have my cane down bite you. Are you threatening me again? I just want you to sit down, dude. I don't trust you. Where's the knife? Where's the knife? It's in my pocket. Oh, 
Look, man, okay, so you're just gonna stay there for me, okay? I I'm cool with you, right? I respect you, bro. You respect me, okay? Yeah, as long as you don't assault me, we'll be fine. I'm not gonna assault you, man. I'm not gonna assault you. I just wanna make sure I'm safe. I wanna make sure this guy over here is safe, and I wanna make sure the knife is put away. You know, I don't wanna have to shoot you, dude. The only thing the only thing that happened that really like escalated this, he was pointing a gun at me. So I'd advise you not doing okay. that. Okay, look, I don't know what's going on. All I know is I saw you when I rolled up, you had a knife on you. Okay, that's what I saw. I saw you stab him. I didn't see the other part, okay? So it, we're he... gonna wait for an officer to respond and they're gonna handle it. But right now, I just need to stay right there and keep the knife away, okay? All right. I'm not gonna shoot you, brother, unless I have to. I don't wanna have to, okay? Well, then just put your so gun away. We're put. fine. We're fine. Look, man, at this point, I saw you stab him. I don't know you. I don't trust you. I'm just being honest with you, man. But I'm being honest because I respect you. Okay, so I'm just gonna stay right here and wait for a unit to respond. Okay. So what's going on, man? What, what caused this? I was turning right over here, and this dummy decides to take up half my lane while he's going. And while he turns, or while I turn, he's, you know, halfway in my lane, and we almost hit each other. And he gets out of his gun with a automatic rifle, it looked like, and I just defended myself. Okay, so is the gun in his vehicle or is it on his person? It's right next to him right now. Okay. All right. So like I said, we're gonna we'll take care of that when that time comes, man. But just right now. Do I have a problem with you too? Stay there for me, brother. Hey, security guard, you need some help here? No, just stand on the side of the road, brother. Thank you. Just stand on the side of the road, please. Make sure that guy's safe on the ground there. Stand by him so a car doesn't hit him, please. Sir, by the way. Stay right there, brother. There's a gun by. Christ alive! You gonna put that gun away yet? Look, man, like I said, I don't know you. I don't know what you're gonna do. I'm trying to trust you here, but when I pull up on scene and I see you with the knife in your hand, I don't I, I don't have really I'm any other surprised that right worked now. out. I don't trust you right now, man. I'm just being honest with you. Well, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I'm pretty unnerved with you just sitting there with a gun on me. Like, I'm leaning up against your truck. Yeah, and I get that, man, but I don't know if you have any other weapons. Like I said, I already saw you stab him. That's what I did. See. I have a knife. Here, I'll show you. No, 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 brother. Just I have a knife. Don't move. don't move. Don't move. And okay. I have a hammer. We're not going to have a problem if you keep everything away, okay? Put it put see, away, bro. See, hammer? Put it away. Okay. Knife. I don't need to see it. You just need to put it away. Put it away. You know, I'm really having a problem with you pointing this at me. If I put it on your hood, you good? Like, can you stop pointing at me? If you actually put it on the hood, yes. I will not have the gun out pointed at you. Okay. The hammer too, not just the knife. All right, there you go, see? Right there. All right, so then we're good with that. Yeah. I appreciate you doing that, man. So since you did that for me, can you at least come over here and sit on the ground so you're not by the weapon? Um, I'd rather not, to be honest, man. Like, I don't... You're talking about how you don't know me. I don't know you either. I'm just okay, driving around in Sandy. Did I put my gun down? I and I put... I, off you whenever you put those down? Am I not yeah. showing you that you can trust me? Yeah, I, I still don't know. I mean, you're still having me move away, too. Like, we don't know each other. No, you're just, We don't know each other. So but I'll just stand I, I here and not do anything. First, okay? I, I just don't want you to hurt yourself or hurt me or anybody else here, Okay. All right, sounds good. I'll stand right here. I'll keep my hand off my weapons, and you, uh, you keep your hand off your weapons, and we'll have a grand old time. Okay, yeah. As long as you keep your hand away from that hood, brother, we won't have a problem. We're good. Yep. All right, so the unit's coming up here. All right, so just, just stay where you are, man. I'm going to make sure that you're taking care of here. Whoa, that was pretty close. Hey, uh, I need this gentleman right here at my truck in cuffs first. Whoa, whoa. The gentleman has a knife and a hammer on my hood. On my whoa, truck. we said nothing about cuffs. I saw him stabbing a guy when I rolled Said up nothing about cuffs, man. Oh, who is he stabbing? The, the guy on the ground here, right by the gentleman in the street. He pulled a gun on me. I, I'm not going to cuffs, man. Like, I mean. Like, he pulled a gun on right. me. All right, you have, you have your, your ID on you? Yeah, I can give you my ID. I'm not going to embrace right. this, though. Done stop, that before. Stop twitching, stop twitching around. Just hold on for a second. Just let me get your ID. 
Alright, it's Shane McCracken here. I'm gonna reach in my Shane. pocket. My weapons are on his hood. Okay. There you go. Alright. You have any other weapons on you? Nope, the hammer and the knife is all I had. It's up on his hood. Okay. If you don't mind turn around, I'm gonna I'm gonna pat you down just to make sure, okay? As long as you're not putting me in bracelets. If you start grabbing my hands, I'm gonna start moving. You good with him for the moment? Uh yeah, for the moment. Uh, just all around if you need me. I'm gonna start tending this guy's wounds. He's got multiple stab wounds. All right. So you're where our down the victim also had an MP5. I'm gonna secure MP5. the weapon real quick. Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna secure the weapon real quick. Hey, you guys got a towel or something I can wash my hands off? Uh, I may have some uh Negative some wet wipes or evidence. Some... Isn't that blood on your hands, bro? I saw yeah, you stabbing the dude as I rolled gonna up. Be, uh, that's gonna be a hard negative. That's evidence. Can't tamper it off right now. No. Well, do you need to take a picture of it? Like, what? what's going on? Like, I got some on my back now, because I, like, on my back pocket where I got my wallet. Like, I saw my wallet. What do you want me to do with it? Okay. For for right now, I, I just need to know what happened. What's what's the, I need some more context as to, as to why he pulled a gun on you and why you stabbed him. So I'm turning out off of Alhambra here on the marina, and I'm trying to head down to Grape Seed, all right? Okay. Which vehicle is yours? I'm in the Beetle. Okay. And okay. this this guy is halfway in my lane, pulls over, jumps out with an MP5 and start, or I guess, I don't know, it's some automatic weapon, and starts pointing at me saying, You didn't watch where you're going. Ah, you didn't watch where you're going. So I, he comes walking toward me, and I pull out my knife and I stab him. Get him away from me. It was self defense. Okay, it was there and all right. So other than the the gentleman that's right here with the flashlight, was there anybody else here that that may have seen it? Nope. I mean, locals were around, but they kind of ran off when he pointed the gun. I got gotcha. you. To be honest, I'm kind of shocked I won that like knife to the gunfight. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to place you in cusp, but I am going to place you in the back of my car for now. Just because I've got to get my car out of the road, we've got to uh, try to get this scene a little bit better secured. I mean, I can just and sit then... right here and I'll be fine. Okay, well, I, I would feel safer if if you were... Uh, I mean, all my weapons... You checked, all my weapons are out there. I mean, I... Yeah, that, that is true. That is true. But... Right now, just I, w I I don't want I don't I want you to be safe and I want everyone else to be safe. If I go sit so, in your car, can I wipe off my hands? Um, let me, <laughs> sir. It, it, when I rolled up, he was stabbing that gentleman in the street. This down, I believe that's just blood on his hands, and I I would hate to see evidence get uh, you know taken off his his person. Yeah, but, I'm gonna um. Do you need to take a picture a, or like yeah, here? Let me get I a got blood. Pictures real quick. Yeah, here, here you go. There you go, there's my hands. Take a picture. There you go, there's the back of my hands. I got what I needed. All right. Now can I get like a tile or something? Uh, yeah. Let me get the. Uh... W was your dog just peeing on you? He just like lifted up his back. I think your dog just peed on your boot. What dog? That dog right there. Might just... be. It might be a little dribble. I'm not worried about it right now. I don't see a dog. I mean, you you do you, man. But I'm pretty sure he just peed on your boot. It's right next to his feet. 
stay put. I need to. I want to move my car out of the road before you do anything else. Okay. Okay. No towel just yet. Let me. I need to do one other thing. Right. I might need a wet wipe too. It's kind of drying. Uh, what I'm gonna do before we wipe before you wipe your hands off, I'm gonna go ahead and uh. I will run your sorry ass over. Okay. Um, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna uh swab your hands real quick and uh and uh get a sample of the, the blood that's on there for for evidence all right yeah you can do whatever you need there you go right, I'll, yeah. I'll testify under oath that i stabbed him he was pointing a gun at me all right there you go yep right. there. take one. whatever you need and we'll do the other one okay all right and um you said this this car here is not yours uh the no nope, it's is the yours? beetle right there all right, um, here, I've got a towel over here if, uh, if you want in my car, and then, uh... You got any wet wipes sit. anymore? Like, my hand, it's kind of drying yeah. on my hands. They're, they're, um... I mean, I got some in my car that I could use. Like, I'll dry my well, hands off on your towel and then grab I got them. some, like, industrial strength ones and then... Oh, okay, um, that'll work. Let me uh, let me get this out of the trunk and then just come stand by the back of my car if you don't mind. Okay. All right, All right cool. <laughs> oh. All right, you gotta put the cigarette out. It went. Uh, okay. Can't have you smoking on the scene while you got blood coming out of your abdomen. Just looks bad for everybody. Uh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. All right, if you don't mind, just let me talk to the uh, deputy and see what we're gonna do next. Hey, sir, if you don't mind, please stand by your vehicle for the moment, just in, so I can uh, get this guy out in the county, and then I'll be over there talking to you about what you've seen. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, sir. So that's a legal firearm because we're pretty sure that's going to be a legal firearm. <laughs> well, he's going to get in trouble. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got it right. Sure, did everything. Alright, well, just so you're aware, the trooper is checking to make sure it is a legal firearm for you to have. I got you. Anything else on you that I need to know about? Any other guns, knives, anything like that? No, that's the only one I got. But I do got a pistol at my house, so it's not on me or my car. So that's the only vehicle or only weapon you had on you when you were up. Uh, where were you going target shooting at? Uh, the Garcia uh, ammunition had a range. Okay. All right. Give me just a moment. County Medical should be here in just a, a couple of minutes. They're not too far out at this point, okay? Okay. Appreciate it. Hey, officer. I inspect uh, it. Uh, over let's go over to your car. Over by your yeah. car. Uh, what are we doing with this guy? Is he a suspect? Or um, well, I'll here in a hey, hey, what do I do with these? Hey man, I what do I do with these? Stay at the back of the uh, Sandy Shorts. Well, you know, do you right? want these? Yeah, I don't like, I, I don't know. Like, do just I throw them away? Or? No, just hold on to them. You can't throw them away. They're littering. Okay. Just hold on to them for okay. a moment. We'll okay. deal with that in a minute. I left here, then I got out of my car. And then he got a hit. He found him this, I guess, snapped in his brain. Jeez, man. Uh, something snapped in my brain like you having a weapon pointed at me. Hey, 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 hey let's not start something. You. Yeah, on, you walk on. out with your let's weapon. Not... Guys, we're not going to do this. Hey, we're not gonna do this. No, no, I'm not going to sit by while he's lying. He po comes out, points a weapon at me, saying, hey, you got to learn how to drive. No, I'm not put, I'm not standing for this. No, you had it in your hand. You had it branching it at my face. You know, I don't put, I don't deal with disrespect real well. Yeah, sure. You want round two, buddy? Oh, we're not gonna yeah. do that, guys. Yeah. Come on, yeah, come on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. You want round two? Huh? Sure Dude, go back, huh? Here. Go, sure go back to the car. Go back that. to the car. Go you know, the I'm, I'm done with your attitude. Go back to the patrol car. Go back to the patrol car now. Control your man, man. Back up. Control him. <laughs> man, these guys are gonna be separated. They're about to fight again. Do you mind? Can, can you just right? stay put for now? If he keeps his mouth shut, yeah. What'd you say? What'd you say? 
not. Dude, get back to the What'd car. you say, huh? Over there. What'd you say? Back up now. No, I'm not dealing with this crap. Okay. This dude can't drive. Hello, hey. No. This guy we'll can't drive. This guy back can't drive. The cruiser now. <sighs> oh. This guy can't. You know what? Something's waiting for you, man. Something's waiting for you. Yeah, sure. Hey, hey. I don't. Hey! Since you don't want to listen, now you're going to be detained until this. Well, he's the one that's doing all this. I'm just trying to sit here, lean against the car, and you guys. You guys are the ones that are doing this! You guys! Mm. Hey, you guys! Uh, he's been very aggressive the whole time. Oh, you're the one that come talk to me! Oh! Oh! Hello! Is anyone gonna stop talking to me? Can you can you stop kicking my car? Okay, get me out of here! You're making this a lot worse on yourself than it has to be. No, you guys are. He's the one that's running his mouth. And you got him in cuffs. He's the one going to jail while I'm in cuffs. I just defended right, myself. But listen, I turn around and, and you're the one being aggressive towards him. He's the one that started this all. Well, you know what? He's he's actually getting ready to go to jail. That's good. Can I get out then? Uh, let it. Let we still need to finish our conversation. Me and the the deputy of the trooper need to finish our conversation. And then. Well, Andy, if, hurry if up! There's like no leg room in here. I'm like, like packed like a sardine in here. It's getting well, hot in here. Should, Can you at least roll down, down the windows? We're, we're being aggressive, and now you're in there kicking my car. You're getting yourself out of breath. Well, I'm just trying to get myself some room. You know, my legs are kind of long. Tell you what, I'll put the window down. How about that? I mean, I, I guess that's something. I mean, come on, man. He's the one that's, like, been the aggressor this whole time. He's come up, he comes walking up with a gun, and he comes out like, Oh, you need to learn how to drive. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm going to uh, be transporting my guy over to uh, Sandy Shore, or to uh, Sandy Medical Center. All right. I'll see if I can get the uh, trooper to take care of 1070s for both vehicles. I'm assuming he's going 1015 as well. Uh, what? What's that I'm mean, huh? Sure yet. Huh? What's that mean? Why are you talking I'm all these sure 10 yet. things? I, I need to. I, I need to. Uh, we need to finish our conversation about the all right, whole well, thing. All right. Let me uh, put him in my cruiser, and we'll step away from them now that they're them two are secured. All right. I'm just trying to get some. Some coffee out at the 24-7 grapeseed, man. You guys are... He complicated this whole thing. Now your guys are making me miss, like, uh, all my whole day. I had a whole day planned. Uh, here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you to just calm down for a few minutes. Let us have our conversation. <sighs> and once we're done with our conversation... And that deputy's trying to throw me in jail. Long, as long as you can keep yourself calm and, and rational in the back of my car then we'll be fine. I'll be able to leave? I don't know that yet. Well, I certainly hope so, but I don't know that yet. Your behavior is going to partly dictate that. I'm just so trying just, to get out of here, man. Like, I'm kind of sick of this at this point. I understand, but we're, we need to... Me and the deputy and the trooper need to finish our conversation that we couldn't finish because you guys were over here... Acting foolish. He was trying to fight me. That's what was happening. Okay, I, I understand that, but I didn't see him move. Good lord. I didn't see. Oh, so, right now you guys are separated, and that and that's fine. But I need to go finish my conversation with the deputy, and just as quick as I can, we'll get it resolved. Okay. All right. All right. That's all I ask. Just give us a few minutes. All right. Don't let that security guard walk away with my weapons too. Okay. We'll, My I'll, boss will I'll kill me. Address that as well. Finally, you guys are taking forever. Can I get out yet, please? Please? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can I get out, please? Uh, uh, okay. You gotta listen to what I'm saying first, okay? Okay. Okay. 
So, um, we the the two witnesses, or at least one of them, uh, co corroborated your story uh, regarding, well, basically to say self defense. Okay. And that means you're not going to be arrested for that. All right. For for the uh, for the stabbing part. And where did the guy go with the? You know what? I think we've got your uh, your weapons already. Um, All right. So good. Let me, let me see where those are. And if you'll give me just one more second, I never ran your name, and it's uh, last name. What was your last name, Shane? McCracken. Kraken. Okay, if you give me like 15 seconds, 20, 30 seconds, let me run your name real quick. And um, if, I, if everything checks out, then you'll be good to go, okay? Okay. All right. That better? Yep. All right, so everything checked out. Um, you're going to be free to go, and unfortunately, it looked like someone, like locals may have run into your car but nothing the uh it probably hurt that car more okay. than it hurt mine yeah probably nothing a trip to flywheels can't fix right so yeah all right um <laughs> i'm getting out of this i guess uh <laughs> he has no idea <laughs> it's kind of ended up at the wrong place at the wrong time so i guess uh yeah, if that you see that guy get if you see that guy again and he starts getting aggressive toward you, man, just get back in your car and, and take off, okay? Okay. You know where he got we can handle it. You know where he got taken? I wanna send him some flowers. Uh no. You're you're not gonna send him any flowers. That's I, I, I mean never, I didn't hurt him, but I, I mean you don't want to send him flowers. Now come on now. I was born at night, but I wasn't last night. <laughs> Best bet is to stay clear of him. I as mean, much as you I can. mean, you're right. It was an edible arrangement, and that's what I was going to give him. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll just head out of here then. All right, Mr. McCracken. Uh, hope you have a better day. Okay. All right. You too. Hope it stays quiet right, for you guys. Yep. Mm -hmm. And with a head full of steam, Shane went down to the Grape Seed 24/7 to buy some gas and some coffee. But when he went to check out, the local clerk told him that his coffee was going to be $5. And Shane wasn't having any of that. You know what? No, this is crazy. No. $5 for a cup of coffee? You're out of your mind. No. I don't know what you're talking about. No, this is crazy. No, $5. $5 for a cup of coffee from a gas station. What do you put in there? Gold? Is it gold coffee? I don't know what you're talking about, man. This is crazy! I don't know what you... You've lost the plot if you think people are actually going to pay $5 for coffee. I mean, seriously, what, now what? You called the cops? You called the cops here. Why'd you call the cops here? All I'm doing is arguing with you about the cost of coffee here. I'm not throwing any weapons or anything. You've got to be kidding me, man. I'm done with this. You know... Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey. Put your hands up, man. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. This clerk just pulled... Fine! What do you want now? We have a silent alarm that came off of this location. Yeah, because the, the idiot clerk decided that he was going to push the silent alarm because I was arguing about a $5 cup of coffee instead of, you know, the normal $2. Turn around. You've got to be kidding. You, you, you guys just put me in cuffs all left Turn and right. You guys are just bound me. and determined to ruin my day today. I see how it is. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead and pat me down. Do candy shirts while you're at it. <laughs> oh, there you go. You happy, Mr. Super Trooper? What's going on, man? I go in there and I'm trying to get a cup of coffee, right? And $20 on pump number one here for my car, right? And this clerk starts back talking to me and giving me, oh, it's five dollars for a cup of coffee. I know it's not five dollars. It says it's two dollars right on the machine there for the large cup. And so she starts arguing with me, and I argue back. And she just isn't having enough. And apparently she called you guys out here and pushed the I'm panic gonna need, button and just. I'm, I'm gonna need, for one, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor and toggle your voice box for me. Two, if you're on shouting, please go to normal. And three, I need you to calm down. I think three is the most important there. So I arrived. He's very upset, disturbed. 
uh, yelling at her that she she called the police, this and that. Um, I came out, you know, he approached, he almost got tased. I'm not gonna lie to you. He, he kept walking towards me, walking away. Of like, course, I did. He was he was the one over on the stabbing. Yeah, he, no, we just he definitely he just, was yep. aggressive there too. Yeah, so, and yep. you're the one he that just, decided to put me in cuffs too. Yes, because you were being aggressive and you wouldn't listen, and you kept trying to charge the other guy. He started it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We were there to finish it. Uh huh. Well, who ended up in the hospital? Just saying. All right. If you guys want to grab him, take him, preferably um, anywhere over there or there. Um, I'm gonna go check the cameras. Uh, talk with the clerk. See what's going on. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh. Good day, how you doing today? You guys uh, dealt with this gentleman earlier? Yeah, uh, vehicle accident, turn stabbing. Oh, that's not nice. He deserved it, he came at me with a weapon. Hey, buddy. What? Uh, one, I, I need your name. It's Shane McCracken. Same as earlier. Well, I, I didn't talk to you earlier other than when you were oh, the Oh, that's right. You Shane threw me. McCracken. Yeah, Shane McCracken. All right. Shane, I'm going to uh, roll the windows up, and I'm going to have the AC on for you. Just stay relaxed until we get this figured out, okay? I'll go. Okay. Can I get out yet? No. No! So, uh, I need to check your name real quick again. One more time, you said Shane McCracken? Yeah. All right, give me a second, bud. All right, so let's start at the beginning here, Shane. Um, first off, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney during questioning. If you can't afford one, the state of San Andreas will provide one to you at no cost. Do you understand the rights of, as I've read them to you? Yeah, I guess. There you go. All right. And with those rights in mind, do you uh, wish to continue speaking with me? Can I go home if I talk to you? No. Why, not? Why am I not going home? Well, we're going to get there, but I need to know if you're willing to have this conversation or if you want a lawyer present. What, that's why I just asked. If I talk to you, do I have a chance of going home? Well, no. The trooper is having uh, charges of disorderly conduct. And disorderly conduct? You've got to be kidding me. Disturbing the peace. Disturbing nope, the peace? Me. Why? What? Because I was upset with the coffee price? No, because of how aggressive you were with the uh, staff at, at the establishment. I just... Ugh. Oh, and thirdly, I need to let you know you are being verbally trespassed from this location. You are not to come back, period. If you do, you will be arrested for trespassing. You've got to be kidding me. This chick no. back there just can't, you know. Ugh. Also, is that your vehicle over by the pump? No, it's not. No? So you won't have an issue when I tell it then, right? No, it's my buddy's car. He's going to come and get it. Okay, well, I'm going to run the tags because uh, your license is expired and you drove that here. So I could also hit you driving on an expired license. Well, I was... so it's not the end of the month, so I'm going to give you a break on that one. Because it looks like it just expired. It looks like you just had a birthday not too long ago. Yeah, on April Fool's Day. Lucky me, huh? Right. So, hey, I'm cutting your break. I'm not going to write you a ticket on that one. Not until May 1st. So, what I'm hearing oh, is... Hey. I was here for that car. Give me just a second. Oh, of course. You better not mess with any of my equipment out there. Don't you even dare try and mess with it. Man, be quiet. It's going to be quiet. It's no expensive equipment. Hey, hey. There's no stuff out there. You better not be broken my car. I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to sue everyone. I'm going to sue everyone for everything I've done. This is out of the control. You guys are out of control. You're taking my car. I, I thought it was your buddy. I was just trying not to get you to tow it. You guys are power hungry. Okay, well now I'm going to hit you with improper vehicle registration because it's not registered correctly at all. What do you mean? It has no registered owner, no registered address. It's not coming back correctly. Well, it just, just must be pretty it, new. It 025 LIK on the license plate, correct? Yeah, I, I think so. Yep. 
well, yeah, it's coming back improper. So you can get that straightened out with the DMV and, and fight that in court. But you are going to be getting three citations a day. While we wait, I'm going to be writing up the uh, information while county comes to get you. Okay, bud? You're more than well, well, uh, more than free to uh, explain your side of it while I'm filling out the paperwork. Okay. Why? Well, you, you've got to be kidding me! I, I just put my stuff in there. I just got. I went out to the DMV, paid the five hundred dollars to friggin' register my vehicle, and you've got to be kidding me! I'm, I'm sick of it. You guys are just power hungry, and then I go and they raise the cost of coffee up to five dollars a cup, and it's just out of control. I'm actually getting like... Now that we're out of control, we're out here enforcing laws. What law did I break? I got mad about my coffee. They didn't even ask me to leave. They just pressed the button like a bunch of cowards. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Why am I getting so angry about coffee? And then, and then, and then they have the audacity to charge $7 a gallon for gas. $7! You guys don't have to pay that because you're, the county pays for that. But I have to pay $7 a gallon to fill up my car. Well, we still pay the seven dollars, but it's just the county payers or county taxpayers. Pay. Exactly. I don't have to pay you. I am ending up paying for your gas, and you guys are just driving around, you know, arresting whoever you want because I just have to argue the price of coffee. It was, uh, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? I don't know, but I'm just upset about you know, you guys. They're charging five dollars for, for a small cup of coffee that that used to cost two dollars, and back in the day it used to cost twenty five cents for, and now I'm paying five dollars. That's like. Like, uh, so much money. But now I can't even get a, a, a gallon of gas for that. <laughs> and then this clerk just looks at me and is like, Sorry, that's your price. Well, there's a price on the machine that says it's $2. And then you guys come out, guns blaze. Oh, what's your blah, blah, blah. Trying to arrest me for just what? For what? Arguing the price of coffee? What does this country come to? Well, that's one way to make a bad day worse. Now Shane has to sit in a jail cell overnight and then go to the DMV the next day. But that's going to do it for today's video. Remember to leave a like on the video if you liked it. Comment down below with what you think Shane can get into next and subscribe for more content like this. And that way I can make sure that I'll see you in the next one.